Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at the June stamp set of the month series, which is the Car Critters stamp set. So every week in the month of June, I featured this stamp set and I made some different cards with it, sharing some different ideas and inspiration. So I thought we'd just take a quick peek back at what I made and then also I need your help deciding what stamp set is going to be my stamp set of the month for July. So I'm going to show them to you and I would like you to vote. So let's jump in. So first up in the series was a flippin' awesome card. The die that makes this mechanism right here is called flippin' awesome. So I'm not just tooting my own horn about how cool I think this card is. And when you pull the tab, the scene changes and then you have a fun scene or message at the end or even a gift card, which I've shown before in a previous video because I love this die set so much. So for this card, I wanted the scene to change as if it was going from day to night. So they're starting out on their little adventure and then they're getting lost and it says recalculating and that is one of the stamps in the Car Critters set. And then they have their map, they're figuring it out, and then they're back on their merry way, and it's evening, and it says, I'd be lost without you. Now, I should have set this a little bit further over that way, but nobody's going to have hurt feelings over that, so we will just um, try not to lose any sleep over it. Let's see. I did nothing on the inside of this card. That's sad, but it's like four different scenes. And this little cloud right here is from the Bug Deal stamp set. It's supposed to be like a mound of dirt. So I thought it was super fun that you could also use it as a cloud. And then I just added some little birds to it. I did a ton of ink blending and splattering, just like with water. I loved that look where you um, splatter with water. And then I did some little bit of silk on here. You can go back and watch that video and see what silks are. I use them a lot. They're from Fun Stamper's Journey. So that was episode one right there. All right. So episode two was about reveal wheel because the Car Critter stamp set has a reveal wheel add-on. So you can change the picture inside of the car. So in this story, <laughs> these little guys are driving, picking up their friends and headed off to a birthday party. This is like how we used to do it. With me and my friends, when my kids have a party, sometimes we like to carpool, pick each other up, one person drives one way, the other person drives them home type of thing. So it reminded me of that. Also, this little image that the bear is holding is the map. I masked off the words so that it looked plain and I could turn it into a present. Okay, so that has the reveal wheel at the bottom, and I use the square reveal wheel die set for that. And then I just took another one and put it up top and tied the balloons to the car. And when you turn the wheel at the top, you're changing the face on the balloon. So I thought this was a super fun card for a birthday. Happy birthday from all of us. And no, I didn't do anything on the inside. I'm really trying, so that's why I keep looking. <laughs> I'm going to work more on that. And then in the background, there's the cloudy stencil that I um, used with white ink. So it's really subtle in the back there. And these balloons are covered with, I believe, liquid stardust and some glaze for some shine. Okay, so that video actually had two cards. So the second card is also a reveal wheel, which I had to make some adjustments so it would fit on this panel which is the largest frame from the large slim line, line die set that also has the sliders in it. And so this one is what birthdays are like now when we drive by with a little birthday parade and they're throwing candy and they have presents on the roof and balloons and uh, they're all excited yelling happy birthday. And this one right here has all the things. She has balloons she has music, she has cake, she has presents. So I figured this one must be grandma. Grandma does all the things. She's got to take it up a notch. She's got to better everyone else because she's grandma, right? Yeah, so we have um, just a fun birthday scene there. I love this card. And this is the episode when I um, colored the little fox inside this car 
are critters, extra critters from the coaster critter stamp set. It's the one with the roller coaster. I'll show you it in a card coming up. So here I colored him wrong. And then this one, I figured out how to actually color him. Yeah, sometimes I'm not as smart as I think I am. Yeah. Okay, so that was episode two. Then in episode three, I did tiny scenes. So this is just a small scene compared to something like this is a large scene. So it's sometimes easier just to take a little bite out of scene building if you're new to it or if you're it's not your favorite or it's hard, it doesn't come easy to you, just do a little scene. So mine actually has two little scenes because here the critters got out of the car and they went to the beach and they went swimming. And I have these little, this little hill, I, I think it's like sand, I don't remember what it's called, y'all. I'll put it on the screen, stitched sandy borders mini yeah i'm gonna put it on the screen and then i did some um, masking to create my ocean my island and my sky and then um in the meantime in the foreground we have the car and it looks like the crab has got in the car and he's listening to some music probably like don't worry be happy now something like that look I did the inside thanks for steering me in the right direction look at that cool palm tree same palm tree here but I just bent the stamp on the block fun 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 okay then we have this shadow box card so I just took the lawn fawn shadow box um I have the add-on that's like the winter add-on that goes with the yetis that's where um all these little pieces are from the little mountains the little um, cabin, these trees. Um, this is from one of the village sets. And then it's just like a 3D scene of these two people going on maybe a mountain drive. And it says, I'd be lost without you. And you can decorate the sides. And then the back, it has your little message that we're not going to look at too close because this is actually the card that I gave my husband for Father's Day. And I can just tell you, he loved it. He took it to work to set up in his office. And when I couldn't find it to make this video and he told me that he took it to work, I asked, he asked why. I said, well, I was going to make a video, but it's okay. You don't have to bring it. He brought it home. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to put it in his lunchbox and let him take it back to work because I feel like that's like the highest honor really that he could give me. So he took it in conjunction with the cards that my daughters gave him. So my daughter made, um, Hannah made this little like postcard that is a little camping theme. And then my daughter, Samantha, she drew this and cut it out. She did the lettering all herself. So really the only thing she got from my stamp room was the paper. She's a really good artist. So that's what she did. And then, um, Going along the theme of mini, I made a little miniature card or tag with this set. And that's pretty much like, there's so many fun things you could do with this, but this is pretty much all I did was show you how to make it. So it could be a great tag. It could be a lift the flap element on the front of a card or the inside of a card. Yeah, super fun there. Okay, so then now we're on to episode four. This was a pretty involved card. So this one is a lift the flap card. And if you can hear that, it's also a shaker card. And if you can see right here, it's also a gift card holder. Yeah. So let's lift the flaps and see where they are going. So it's a birthday. Let's go out. So where are we going first? Well, let's go out for coffee. Now, if you can see here in the background, I made it a shaker. And I thought those kind of look like coffee beans. And there is, these are homemade shaker elements made with the silicone gel beads. They're not gel. They come in your shoes. When you buy shoes, there's a little packet in there. It says, don't throw it away. It's supposed to absorb moisture. Moisture. <laughs> you can dye them with your inks and make them custom colors, which is what I did for this card. And apparently I like to throw them about as well. They're quite bouncy, which makes them really fun for a shaker card. So then in the next lift the flap, no shaker, but once you um, remove the card, you can see the little shopping scene for shoes. So then in the third scene, see the bears got 
its um, purchases, maybe from the shoe store. And now they're gonna go have ice cream on the way home. And that's why I had this panel go kind of from light to dark. So maybe this is morning, afternoon, evening. I added some clouds and a sunshine from one of the village sets. And on the inside, here's the little bear with either, it's either a shopping bag or a purse and it's little ice cream. This is from the Village Shops stamp set and the little bear is halfway off the card because when you stamp those, they're only half. So there you go. Episode five, we have a interactive card. So this is a double slider. You can see I've used the slider that goes with the coaster critters. So this stamp set has the um, fair ride, the roller coaster, the ticket booth, and these three critters. And then you can get this add-on for the coaster and then also there's a large slimline slider. So I made bumper cars and they all hook together eventually, but you can separate them out and have them bump into each other. And then you have to move it a little differently to get the bunny to move, but it's just a really fun scene. And then at the last minute, I had the idea to put um, one of the car critters in the ticket booth. I'm loving it, love it so much. And then on the inside, because the outside says, life is full of ups and downs, let's roll with it together. And then I have these little critters on the inside off to their next adventure together. Pretty cute. That'd be a good anniversary card, I think. I would give it to my husband. He might put it up in his office with his little shadow box, right? <laughs> okay, so those are the cards from this month's series, but I need your help deciding, I have my little basket here, what stamp set should be my stamp set of the month for July. So I have a survey you can take, or um, is it called a survey? A poll, it's a poll. You can take up on my YouTube channel, if you go to my page and click on community, there's a little poll there. So the first stamp set on the list is this stamp set by Honeybee, it's called Way to Goat. But look at all these fun images, the um, adult goats, and then there's a bunch of baby goats, duck, a chick, a bunny, a pig, look at this can, and a lot of sentiments. And it's got dyes to go with it. It's got all these little um, plants and grasses and sentiments you can build. Really cute. So that's from Honeybee Stamps. That would be a fun set. I'm, I have lots of ideas I could do with this. So this is one that you can vote for. The second one is brand new from Lawn Fawn. You can see I haven't cracked any of these open yet. This is the Unicorn Picnic. So we've got three different unicorns, little fairies, clouds, and then what do unicorns eat at a picnic? Cake, ice cream, banana split, donuts. There's a shaker with sprinkles, a tiny spoon and faces for your clouds and different little sayings like you can never have enough glitter. Yeah, another super cute set. Okay, then my next thing is actually two stamp sets because I'm not sure I could use these without each other. These are from Not Too Shabby and they are um, exclusive to their shop. They're designed for that shop. This one right here is called Picnic Fun. Cute, right? The pie, the chick holding the pie, the panda. I love the picnic table with this plaid or checkered um, tablecloth. You've got a banner, sentiments. And then this one is summer, it's so small, summertime buddies. And we've got the kitty with its um, inner tube and then the puppy sand castle. But really you could put these together and make a fun scene for summer. So I just think these are so cute and I've been wanting to play with them since I got them. It's been a while. So that is the third option. They're together. You can vote for this as one. So make sure you click over there and do that and I will be revealing that very soon because I need to get started on the video. So I'm gonna give you guys until Saturday to do that. I believe Saturday is the 4th. So until the 4th of July to vote for my July stamp set of the month. And then I'll be back on Tuesday with the video to reveal which stamp set made the cut. That is it for me today. Thank you for stopping by for this kind of um, review of the entire month. It was a ton of fun with the Car Critter stamp set. I appreciate all the love you guys give me and the wonderful comments. You guys are so sweet to me. Thank you so much. And I am thinking about doing um, a giveaway with next month's series. So be sure and check that out. Remember Tuesdays, I don't have a specific time because 
life. Life, you know. Okay, so I will see you all again very soon with another crafty video. Happy stamping, bye.